So here's a little project I've been working on lately. It's a Raspberry Pi uh, computer. I've made myself sort of a little desktop setup here with a little wireless keyboard and uh, monitor. Um, I designed and 3D printed this little monitor stand for this little touch screen. Um, I designed it in Tinkercad and 3D printed it. Um, it's available on Tinkercad if you look it up. I also uh, designed a little Pi cam holder uh, which holds a little pocket diffraction spectroscope in front of the lens. Um, now all of this was to run uh, this software that was written and published by Les Wright on GitHub. Um, so it's a, a Pi spectrometer. Uh, it's available on GitHub um, to download the software. And he's got it all documented on here. It's a really nice software. Uh, so right now I've got it pointed across the room at a fluorescent uh, CFL uh, lamp. Um, that's how you calibrate this. So I've got it calibrated at five points of the uh, uh, fluorescent light spectrum. Uh, fluorescent lights uh, put out like a fingerprint um, of a typical spectrum. Uh, so I've got it uh, calibrated at five points, which is pretty good. So all of this, uh, I wanted to be able to measure uh, the wavelengths of some of my laser collection. Uh, just a few of my lasers. So let's do that right now. I will point this at a uh, piece of paper here and shine some lasers at it. So here's, uh, let's get a blue. Oops, gotta put the peak hold on. So that one, four hundred sixty-five nanometers. That, what's the peak of that one there? Four hundred fifty. So there's a deeper blue. Just under four, four forty-seven. Sort of a teal four hundred ninety three. The mint green at five oh seven. Four twenty. This should be 532 ish. 534. Let's try some red. Deep red here. 663. And I got sort of an orangey red. 636. And I've got, here's a laser from 1988. This is one of the first handheld uh, commercially available lasers uh, from back in 1988. It used a helium neon laser tube in here. Um, so that's a Laser X LLP 100 uh, back from 1988. So to measure that, it's very dim. Point it over here at a, a closer light, uh, light, light source. So that one, we've got, uh, it's really close, right beside that. It's right beside the 636. Sorry, the small peak, right beside the 636. So that's probably about 630. Is it 630? 631? 0.95? And uh, its uh, label says it should output 632.8, so that's that's really accurate. So let's try uh, let's try a UV laser. This one's going to be about 405 to 407 nanometers. And what you're going to notice with the UV laser is you're going to see a, a lump about right here, uh, from into the blue to the green. 
and that's due to the paper fluorescing. So here is the UV. Oh, I gotta point this at the paper. Here's the UV, yeah. So there's the, the UV laser, 412. So there's the, the paper fluorescing. So that's due to the paper being optically whitened with a chemical. Um, typically, I think curamin is uh, used to whiten paper. So this is a really neat piece of software. So this is all available on uh, Less Rates GitHub. That's what I've been working on lately. Thank you for watching.